So all we need for this uh, DIY is an old t-shirt and a pair of scissors. Uh, I actually got this t-shirt from the dollar store. I seem to find everything at the dollar store. It's a Hanes men's small. Well, I don't know how this could be a men's small, but that's what it said. It's pretty tiny. It's like child small. I feel sorry for the guy who is considered a men's small. Uh, anyway, so what we're gonna do is just take our scissors and slice it, or cut it rather, straight line across. right underneath the armpit area. So like, you know, here to here, straight line across. Oh, get rid of that part. And then from the bottom part up this way, we're gonna make little slices. Like that, all the way up. And just keep repeating this until you go all the way around. Okay, so now that I've gone and made all my slices, all I'm going to do is just pull on each one of these. Now, you could make these slices thicker or thinner depending on how you want your fringe, the thickness of your fringe, because as you pull down on these, they get thinner. See, like it starts off pretty thick, and then as you pull it, it gets thin. So if you want your fringe to, you know, be thicker, make the slices thicker, and vice versa. If you want them to be thinner, make the slices thinner. And just keep pulling down on all of them until they're all nice and stretched and pulled out. I'll keep doing that. So I finished pulling all of the strands individually, put it over my neck with this part on the top and this on the bottom, obviously with the fringes on the bottom. If you have un like, just like unsightly, unkept looking frayed edges like that, just go ahead and tuck them underneath like that. No need to like sew it or make it look pretty. And there you have it, your fringe scarf.